Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be talking about a new acquisition, a PTR MP5 clone. Uh, so far, the gun I am very, very happy with. It shoots like a dream. Uh, on the gun itself, the only thing that I'm not super into is the safety lever. It's kind of high. It's definitely meant to be like a carbine instead of like a, a pistol because when you're holding it like this, it's a little goofy to try and get like when it's on safe. Like you need really long thumbs or you need to break your grip and push it. Whereas if you were holding it like a rifle, it's a little bit easier to scoop up there. Um, really, when it comes down to it, it shot amazingly, like barely any recoil. And obviously it should because it's uh, stamp steel construction, has this aluminum handguard and all of the weight is out front with the magazine. It, I, I assume once I, if I were to SBR this or put on a brace, it's just gonna be non-existent recoil. I can see why this thing became so popular, especially in the 80s and even today it's still running strong. Uh, this is the model where it has both the threads and the tri-lug. If we lived in a free state, I would be really excited to put a suppressor on there. We don't, so maybe one day when I leave uh, Illinois. So gonna set this down for a second and we're gonna talk about what it comes with which that's the only complaint with the firearm so far with the firearm itself accessories we're gonna get into that but starting off on the high note the case good and bad with this good really sturdy big old chonkin case has these really nice spring-loaded clips positive locks you ain't gonna get it open it even has metal reinforcements on the area where you can add padlocks if you were to fly with this if you were to travel with this you don't got to worry about somebody stealing your mp5 clone it's really nice it's really secure let's look inside. well they can, take, they can take the whole case but it'd be, yeah. it'd be harder to break into the case itself but let's say that you have a chain <laughs> and a padlock well now they ain't gonna take it and they can't open it so add a chain to your to your truck bed that's yeah anyway inside so you got a slot for the uh mp5 clone which uh, quite a few of your braces aren't going to work. The side folder by, I believe, B&T has one. And then I think there's even one by... Uh, they're on hkparts.net. I don't know the company name of the other one. I think it might be like SB Tactical. Don't quote me on that. So you have the rifle. Uh, not rifle. Handgun. Right. Pistol. Pistol. You have the slot for your pistol, side folders apparently work inside of this, and then you have your goofy little bungee sling. I didn't even bother opening it because I don't really intend to use it for the most part. I'm not really a one, one point sling type of person, more of a two point, so I'm going to invest in one of those. Well, it's good with the major complaint about... Uh, when, you, when you drop it, it tends to hit you in the dick. That, that's... That's, that's the main problem with single points. They do have their uses, and PDWs, PCCs, are definitely where they're going to shine a lot more, in my opinion. But personal preference, I just don't really like single point slings. Uh, and then you have your front sight adjustment tool and screwdriver, just multi-piece unit. Even has a little nice little PTR logo on there. Nice little nylon handle, plastic handle, polymer handle. Then you have... Two magazine slots, and there's even a little connector piece, so if they were to be, like, stuck together with, like, a double mag coupler, I think that it would fit in here still. So, that's pretty cool. Now, let's talk about the bad. Uh, it doesn't work with all of the cool braces. That's the problem with the case. Uh, there's the uh, telescoping braces. That's the one that I want because I watch Die Hard too much, and I love that movie, and that's the version of the MP5 that... I love the most. I believe it's the MP5A3, but anyway. So, moving on from that, now let's talk about the other accessory that is just absolutely awful. That is your magazines. One of these things is not like the other. That's right, the feed lip on this one broke. Uh, I inserted it too hard. So, clear magazines, especially these, uh, I think they're like MDT. Especially with the plastic feed lips on there. Yeah, if they had metal reinforcement, this might not have happened. But even so, uh, 
I have been told, slash I have also seen, people drop clear plastic magazines and they break. Clear plastic isn't very strong. These look cool and you get the tactical advantage of seeing your rounds. Unfortunately, that doesn't really help if you drop a fully loaded magazine and then your round and then the magazine shatters and, your and rounds the rounds go everywhere across the floor. But you do have some magazines on the way. Right? I do. Which magazine did you end up going with? I went out at hkparts.net. I bought some metal mags. Both, uh, I bought a couple of HK mags. Those are a little bit out because they're back ordered. And then I bought some Korean mags, and I also bought some polymer followers because on both the HK mags and the Korean mags, they use a metal follower, and metal on metal doesn't tend to work well, but apparently they're like chromed. I'm going to set these down because I feel like I look a little goofy. <laughs> uh, the chrome lined or chrome coated uh, metal follower, follower, follower tends to work pretty decently, but just in case, worried more about the Korean ones. Korean mags can sometimes be hit or miss, but most of the time, they don't really miss. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, Korean mags tend to be pretty decent, but I've mostly just gotten their AR and AK mags, and those are really hard to mess up. So we'll see how they do on the MP5 mags. I'm kind of excited for them. Uh, got the polymer, fo polymer followers from HK Parts. They were, I believe, $5 a piece. They're supposed to be on uh, glass-filled nylon or nylon-filled glass or something. And they're supposed to be self-lubricating and they're bright red and they're all really cool. So probably going to throw those on anyway, but I kind of have faith in the Korean mags. They should be decent. HK mags, obviously, they should be the best. Um, but friends don't let friends buy clear plastic magazines. So... People in the gun shop were even saying, oh God, look at these things. And I, all I said was, they, they came with the gun. And that's pretty much where it was. And you tried defending them. Tried giving the benefit of the doubt, but they just did not perform. They did not hold up to a single range day. Yeah, no. Literally, first day out. And you're probably wondering, did it shear off when the bolt went for it? No. I loaded this magazine up to the full. And then I inserted it too hard because I had the bolt locked open and I gave it a nice little and that was apparently enough to break off that portion and uh, the round that was over here popped out the round that tried to chamber popped out and then I think there was another third round that came out because it stripped off the one from the top to try and feed it and then the other two Okay. It I'm was really sure. it was just a mess. Like a, a mess of bullets and chunk of plastic were in here. I pulled it out, and because this feed lip was still in there, it held in the rest of the round, so that was nice. It didn't just shoot out the ejection port. That that's always nice when that That'd be pretty happen. that'd be pretty cool to get on camera though. It, it would have been a lot cooler if, you know, the magazine just didn't break at all. That yeah. that would have been cool. Uh but I then switched to this magazine. And I loaded it up all the way, and I only loaded it up all the way once because I don't have the magazine loader and my thumbs got tired. Right. First time taking it out, just, we had a lot of guns, didn't pack the MP5 speed loader, and my Magalula doesn't work with this one. Anyway, uh, loaded it up full, was a lot more gentle with it, it worked, then I loaded it up about halfway every time after that because I was just being lazy, and... It worked, didn't break it. It's got a little bit of some discoloration from uh, just bleed, bleed off is the word I want. So got a got a 50-50 on the magazines, but I would prefer them to either be a thicker, like darker plastic that's tougher, and then you can kind of see through them, like the uh, like darker gray, darker black, but like they're a little bit opaque rather than being full clear and they shatter when you use them too hard. Uh, that's really the only complaint, like the only real complaint with the pistol. Which, that's that's a big complaint. I, I'm not going to lie, that is a big complaint. Like, oh no, I, I can't fit my special brace in here that I want. Oh well, well some braces work, so that's not a total loss. 
But at the same time, your magazine breaks when you go to use it. The gun is now useless. These are the only two mags that I currently have. The other ones are still being shipped from uh, HK Parts and then... I believe it was Brownells because Brownells was the only one that lets you back order the HK mags. Yeah, yes, I, I that, that's what happened. I bought Korean mags from HK Parts and I bought HK mags from Brownells. <laughs> these these are strange times that we live in. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's that's a big complaint. I love PTR. I love their products. I'm gonna eventually own the 762 by 39 and the 308 versions, but. Oof, that's, that hurts. That really hurts. Uh, but on a more positive note, this, when I got it to run, felt great. What I noticed was I had a few jams when I was shooting it like this. I don't know if it's just how it was going, although at the same time, I think I was still using this mag, and then I switched to just holding it like so, like a pistol. And then it just worked flawlessly. Panel mag release is best mag release. Never once reached over and used this one. I don't know who in the hell would. Seems like it would be better suited to this side. But if I had a time machine, I'd go back and tell them. Uh, other than that, this comes with the cool drum sight, which is really what you want. So you don't need to swap that out. It comes with a welded, perfectly sized Picatinny rail. And it even has a little cutout so that way you can see your uh, serial number. It has the slap. It, it has everything that you want. And it's for $1,000 less. Just buy better mags. I'm, I'm really salty though. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Would be like a solid like 8, maybe even an 8.5. Those mags just really kill it for me. Uh, and, and that's just on the purchase. The gun itself, I'm going to give it a 9. Like, get some nice steel mags in here. Put nice oh, yeah, I'm, on I'm excited to take it back out, obviously, with the magazines, but not just that, with the brace. Oh, yeah. Because for me, it does feel a little funny to shoot it like a pistol. Oh, yeah, it's and, definitely fun. And when you light, to line it upright, it just feels a little funny to me. But it shot great. Uh, used to shooting AR9s and the recoil on this a lot nicer. Oh yeah, this this was actually better shooting than uh, what was it? My full-sized AR9 carbine uh, from PSA that I built uh, and that has a 16-inch barrel. This has I think it's a 8.86 barrel. So that that's quite a big difference and this thing is better in every way you're right I, I cannot wait to see how this performs with a a nice little brace on it it's on the way it's uh, on the way next next range day hopefully when we bring it back out we'll have everything ready yeah. uh hk parts is pretty decent about their shipping so it should probably be here by next weekend and i think that's gonna do it uh other than the mags, I'm in love. I love, <laughs> I love PTR's products. All so, right. Thank cool. you guys for watching. Have a nice day.